we've had a number of campaigns. One of them was about reopening schools. Um, the other was no masks in class. But really, more than that, we just want children to actually have their lives back. That's, that's what we want as parents. We want to see that our children have really sacrificed enough um, over this whole period. Um, they're really suffering um, you know, all around the country. Um, and we don't feel enough has been done to actually prioritise children. They're not at the top of the heap, they seem to be at the bottom. Well, we're just worried about the future for the children, really, because they're not being prioritised at all. And at the moment, kids are being kept out of education for multiple periods of time due to isolating not because they're sick, they're perfectly healthy, but because somebody might have tested positive. And when we see that last week a footballer tests positive and the rest of his team go and play, what are we saying to our children? We're keeping their whole class, their whole bubble out, and yet, you know, this is their education. This is much more important than a football match. So we really want the government to have a think about, you know, putting children first now, and what's important is, is they're our future. Serious businesses, yeah. Save our children, save our planet. Yeah, I mean, we. Um, this is the first march we've been to. We have been campaigning for 15 months about children, um, and specifically, really, like what's going on in schools as well. Children, as Christine says, are still so far from normality in schools, and I think you know it's, it's great that adults are beginning to get some of their normal lives back, but. We can't stop until children do. <laughs> they're wearing masks, they're being made to isolate when, you know, sort of hundreds of healthy children at a time. Um, and there's still so many restrictions on like what they can do in schools. You know, they're all operating these bubbles, which means a lot of the sports and extracurricular are really restricted still. So. We want our children to get their lives back and I think going forward we want to make sure that actually children are placed first in policy making, as they should have been. <laughs>